in this question, we need to figure out the distance at which the ball strikes the slope. Let's look at our simplified diagram. To determine the slope, we are given a right angle triangle with two sides shown to us. We need to figure out the hypotenuse value of this triangle, which we know is the square root of 5 squared plus 1 squared. Now, we can write down what we know. In the horizontal direction, the starting location is at 0 meters. Point B is D multiplied by 5 over hypotenuse. We can write that as a decimal number. The velocity in the horizontal direction is 40 cos 30 degrees. In the vertical direction, we have the starting point at 0 meters. Point B is at D multiplied by 1 over hypotenuse. We can also write that in decimal form. The velocity is 40 sine 30 degrees. Don't forget gravity, which is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Now we can write our equations. The first one is for horizontal motion. We can substitute what we know in and then isolate it for t. Next, let's write an equation for vertical motion and substitute what we know in. We now have two equations with two unknowns. Solving the two gives us our answer. Thanks for watching and if there are ways to improve these videos, please comment below.